Bula, I welcome you all once again to our lesson today. Uh, thank you for joining me wherever you're joining me from, uh, especially if you're here in Fiji. I welcome you in Bula Vinaka. Uh, today we'll be looking at another Year 13 register, which is Literary Criticism. Thank you. Literary Criticism comes from two words, Literary and Criticism. We'll break it down by trying to define the two words. Literary is the concern with writing, study, or content of literature, especially the kind valued for quality of form. Then you have criticism or criticize. It is there to analyze and judge the merits, the good, and the faults, the not so good, of a literary or artistic work. Combining the words, you have literary criticism. This is the art of analyzing, reviewing, and evaluating the qualities of literary works. This is purely based on biasness. Sometimes it can be factual, it could be what is a um, presentation by the author that is trying to say what is exactly in the work studied, or their own uh, criticism or their own take on the literature. Some features of literary criticism, first one is the use of literary jargons. Examples, narrative, prose, fiction, you can have poet, prose, sorry, already mentioned, you can have stanza, anything that comes under literature that is used in the form of literature, these are examples of literary jargons. The purpose is to hype, obviously it is there to help identify the register, and as is most jargons, it is to make the tone formal and impressive. Next you have the use of quotations. Words of writers and literary scholars are often quoted. An example would be in the sample, an indicator would be the quotation marks. So those are quotes. It is there to support arguments or point raised. So if you have a quote by a famous person, of, you would always want to quote a person who is famous because they have raised an issue that is worth quoting in your criticism. Moving on, you have title. Title or titles of literary works are italicized, underlined, or placed within inverted commas. That is, a, that is an example where the title is italicized. So you have Hamlet. This is to show the title of work being reviewed, and it's also for referencing purposes. So it's being specific. You are clearly aware of what is being referred to, which book is being referred to, which uh, title of play or work is being referred to. Moving on, you have sentence structure. They are usually compound or complex sentences. Example of a complex sentence, sentence sorry, is two well, sorry for the typo, two well-known poems which feature on a, another typo, which feature an aggressive hero is a glimpse into the soul of an old man. An example of a compound sentence Shakespeare's father was a glove maker and he received no more than a grammar school education. So the purpose of a complex sentence is it's to clarify information and the compound is to add extra information. Please always take note of the purposes of these different features because these are some frequently asked questions. If you have to identify from the sample uh, a register feature, you have uh, usually a question that pursues that is what is the purpose or what is the importance that means the same thing so these are some these are the relevant answers that is accepted then you have the use of personal pronouns example i we us our we you they are evaluating or giving one's opinion later you have use of emotive words example happy sad this is to convey appreciation opinion and criticism. So in, emotive words can go hand in hand with favorable or unfavorable words. They give the tone its, um, its purpose. Next we have use of present tense. This hesitates in making, so you see the, the, pre, the, the tense is in present. So that states truth or facts. And lastly, you have the use of favorable or unfavorable words. Example, interesting would be for favorable and boring would be for unfavorable. So this creates a favorable or unfavorable impression. So the questions when you are referring to your samples, you look at the words that are being used. 
you look at the words that are being used and you can make uh, very precise decisions on what is an example of each register feature and the purpose of each. Thank you. Thank you for uh, today's uh, lesson. It's very short. And you can only know whether you have understood the question, the, the, um, the notes if you attempt the samples from previous year papers or from the worksheets that you have received or your home home study plan that was given to you. Thank you.